<laughs> well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old timey country down home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey, uh, welcome to Red State Update. My name's Jackie Bro. Folks, people, it's Dunlap. Welcome to the Red State Update podcast. For the week ending, what are the dates? You know what's hard to keep up with is dates. I don't know. People say, hey, what, what is today? I go, I don't know, Tuesday. And they're like, it's pretty sure it's Sunday. I was in church earlier. No. I said, what time I think is it? It's Tuesday today. No, wait. It's, two, it's either Tuesday or Wednesday today. I take COVID did that to me. Well, I was getting up in age anyway with your memory, just, you know. You, you got, you are the hey, you know, well, you are too. Now think about it. You about that age when I started like, going, you know, but, uh, yeah, they, they, the COVID, you, you stay in the house for, for all week, you know, hell, I don't know. March comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion or the other way around. I don't know. It might be April. Who's supposed to keep up with all this? I wish there was a way that you could keep up with like what day it was, what month it was, all that. It's just too hard to keep in your head. It's something helpful, yeah, just to yeah, do it on your own. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. A little something to help, yeah. It's a little something to just take your edge off. A little sip of something. What? Right. See him. <laughs> a little sip or something, take an edge off. You know how it is. Oh, that you taught me. Yeah. Now drinking help you. No, that don't help nothing. It just makes it worse. You're like, but well, what drinking does is like, what day is it? Two or three sips. Hell, what? I don't give a damn what day it is. I mean, that's all that does. It don't help you remember what day it is. It means it help you not give a damn about nothing. It makes your memory worse. And so does drugs too. I know you do drugs. You do you put a, dr- drugs. They make you forget everything. Liquor and alcohol is the biggest drug in the world. Don't start all that. You know what I mean by drugs. And Jesus drunk wine in the Bible, but well, then probably. That means, that means it was okay. That means that that's one of the good drugs. If it did, if it is a drug and Jesus did it, then it's fine. But Jesus didn't go around doing uh, marijuana and all the rest of it. He yeah, probably because there was laws against it and they probably singled out. The poor brown men like Jesus, and they knew Jesus knew. Oh, if I, I'd love to smoke a bowl with you, but you know they're after me already. You know they catch me with this. Like who knows? How would that have made me. the crucifixion any worse? I mean, he didn't know it wasn't because of that. The point I'm saying. Well, they could. Have, who knows? Maybe that's how they caught him. Is that in the Bible? No, they say, it ain't I, the Bible because he didn't have drugs. He on him, he didn't do it. Maybe that's how they caught him. It probably no. is in the Bible, and you just can't remember. No, nope. they probably I were it, like, "I know it ain't in the Bible." They just doing drugs. I know damn well that ain't in the Bible. Now I may not remember my Bible verses, all of them. I said, "Well, I know I don't," but that I it it ain't in there. I'm saying, stop and frisk. We don't know if that's not the reason that the, and maybe Judas planted something on. Uh, just, just I listen. I'll say this: if they was laws, if they was uh, discriminatory laws, they used to round Jesus up, and it kept him from getting high. Let's say there is no drugs in the Bible, like your small mind believes, and Jesus did not get to use one of God's greatest creations, the marijuana tree. All right, I think that's a bigger sin. Uh, than anything uh, some idiot would preach about. You don't you know? know the first thing about the Bible or anything anybody preaches about. So why, why you even say anything? Nobody I know I don't like the say. things. Here's what I don't like. Things preachers say, especially I, when they're telling me what to do. Here's things I do like. Uh, marijuana and Jesus. So I think... Uh, I'm on the right track. No. And I think uh, everybody else is really bringing me down. Jesus is good. Yes. You're right. Yes. You're right about that. That part, That's yeah, right. Don't, you don't need drugs for Jesus. That's the whole point of it. Well, 
I mean, I got a lot of good buddies I like to hang out with, but drugs always makes it better. Ain't one time I hung out with somebody and been like, oh, you know what? I wish we hadn't done them drugs. This would have been a good time. Well, no, actually, I take that back. There's a few times we're like, man, right. we should have. Okay. This, we should have stopped. Maybe not we shouldn't have done nothing, but maybe we should have pulled back a little bit towards the end. Yeah. And, you know, I think Jesus is the kind of person who'd be there to, te- to let you know. Like, okay, you know what? Because he would know. Like, let's stop now. We're peaking. We're, it ain't going to get better than this. It's only going to get worse. Let's ride this out. Thanks, Jesus. And honestly, he could just make it where you feel good all the time. All right. Just, you don't even really need, like, if you're like, oh, we're out of pot. And be like, here, here's some sticks and twigs and gravel I rolled up for you. I said, well, that ain't pot. He said, we'll take a puff. I'll be God dang. All right, shuddy. All right, all right, Jesus. People show up. You don't go away hungry. You don't go away, you know, stressed out either. Why do you think they needed all them loaves and fishes? People were fucking starved. All right, I know, but you got to say it like that. There ain't nothing to eat left. That shit, I'll turn it. it. He was at a wedding. He didn't go. Uh, you know, wasn't a, a, a are you a, sure it wasn't a homeless shelter? Out? No, he went to a wedding. It wasn't a homeless shelter, nothing. Which I'm, I'm sure he went to those too. Oh, uh, I think they uh, that may be a translation error. That could be. That may be what it is over a year. People write it so many different ways. But I, but no, he was at a wedding. I said mm-hmm. I went out of wine, and I ain't nothing else to eat. And all these people, I think everybody having such a good time. And you know, they just want you to have a good time. I ain't saying yeah, that he does. He but does. He give, he'd get drugs. He give. He give uh, wine, uh, fish, and uh, bread. Let me tell you though, I don't know if that's a wedding. I ain't been to a wedding where people are like, oh man, I'm. St- you know what? Uh, if they had more of them fishes and bread, that it was oh, different. That'd be so good. It was different back in. That's it, not a wedding. Back. That's people hanging out and getting high. When you want to eat fish and bread, you are high as fuck. Hey. That is what was happening. He was hanging out in somebody's house, and they were like, "Oh, we ate all the chips. What else we got?" He's like, "I uh, fish and bread," and we were like. I don't think we got enough. That's how high we are. And Jesus said, well, stand back. I think it's two different things. Now I think about it. I don't know my Bible. I think that's two different events he went to. I think the wedding, they gave wine and the other, the food was someplace else. Maybe I don't know. I can't remember. Who got married? I ain't got my Bible here right in front of me. I don't know. Everybody got married back in there. That's all you could do back in is get married. Imagine that your wedding made it into the Bible. That's like being, like if people make it New York Times on a wedding page, that ain't nothing. Your wedding is in the Bible. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If Jesus came to your wedding. Jesus came to your wedding. Yeah. Think about if you got invited to that wedding and you were like, uh, that's so far. I don't want to go. I got to ride a donkey all day. And then you find out it's like the most famous wedding in the world. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, no, you remember no, like, at uh, Jim and uh, Helen's wedding when Jesus and the, is that no? Oh, that's right. You didn't go. Well, people all the time, like in the news and stuff like that, you know, people, oh, we was getting married. We was at the beach and then old Ghostbusters showed up and he posed in the pictures with us and, oh, look at Ghostbusters or whoever it is, you know, this being nice or whatever, for yeah. something, whoever it is that come across it and they say, oh, I'll do some wedding, you know, yeah, and then they put it, you know, you put it on the computer like you do every other kind of picture, and they look at my wedding, but yeah, that ain't nothing compared to back then. You uh, first off, he saves a wedding, he gives you, you know, wine or fish, or one of the two. One is plenty, but out of both those, probably want the wine at a wedding, which I think that's what it was turn the water into wine. They had plenty of water, but they didn't want, you know, they weren't ready for, you know, for, they didn't. Stock up on the wine tonight, but yeah, but he come to my wedding. It's in the Bible, and and Jesus come and and just turned it around. We thought things were going bad. We thought it was a, it's a it's a bad start to us beginning our life together from from running out of nothing to drink, and then all of a sudden, 
you in history forever, yo. Hanging out, getting high with Jesus. Imagine. He didn't. But, he didn't. wasn't doing drugs, had he? He didn't got no drug wedding. I can, I just looked up Loaves and Fishes to see what that was, and it's all just a bunch of charities. So, no thanks. Why? Right. Well, I guess that's the news for this week, Jackie. Oh, I wish it were. I wish that's all it did for the news is read and talk about the Bible. That's what we should be doing. But in all the world's horrible. We won't give a heart out to the bravest people in the whole damn world right now, people in Ukraine. Going through the worst thing any human can imagine, what's going on about everything else, and they're still getting on TV, on the phone, wherever else, and saying, uh, uh, Putin, I ain't gonna say it. If I was maybe if I'd get hit with all that stuff, I'd say it proud, but I, I, I ain't there yet. But I support them saying it. Uh, I, that I don't like you cussing, but they, they every Ukrainian got every reason to tell him the F word, everything else, up, uh, you know, all of it. So, uh, God bless them, and, and yeah, our hearts just go out there. Yeah, there ain't nobody braver than the Ukraine, as far as I, I can tell. Uh, uh, it's still there. They ain't give up yet. Good Lord. The Republicans, last week we talked about how the Republicans' love affair with Putin was still, uh, there were a few people it was giving up about, on it. Last time we talked about it, it was just beginning to wane a little bit, and now... We come full shot. Yeah, they. Oh, they, now they back. They hate. Hate. Oh, Putin. Lindsey Graham going on Fox. Hey, somebody kill him. Somebody need to get on. One of y'all Russians need to step up and kill this man. You know. Yeah. They they just turn it turn the whole story around. Yeah. Now it, it's like we're back in the eighties, and it's a little weird. It's a little like maybe you would just maybe you do want to sell them planes. Like all the Bernie people were saying at the beginning, I think everybody now is pretty much like this is bad, and it's everybody's got something they got to say though to go with it. Like this is bad, but par for the course for what America's done throughout its history. Or this is bad, but I can't. How will Trump begin? Of course, we're doing the same damn thing here. We're just going to talk about Trump for three hours after this. Everybody's got the thing, though, to say. Everybody's got the thing about well, it. Well, thank God. They tack their it, own message on. It, uh, uh, president Dumbass, here's my language, I ain't president no more because good God Almighty, I don't even want to think about it. He's already telling his plans out there. Did, did they say something? What was he going to do? He going to he paint the airplane or something? Like paint that plane to look like China is what yeah. he said. Yeah. He said... <laughs> Trump uh, Trump calls for U.S. put Chinese flags on fighter jets and bomb the shit out of Russia. And then we say, China did it. We didn't do it. China did it. And they start fighting with each other. And we sit back and watch. <laughs> and, and, and I can't believe after I heard that, the first thing I said, is that a joke? And I, after all these years, I, asked, I don't I know. Said, I, I said it out loud. Is that a joke? Yeah. Who knows? That's the reason they everybody trying to get him in court somewhere or another because that's the main question they're gonna ask him about everything he's ever said. Is that is, was that a joke when you said that? In the same speech, he said that uh, Kim Jong Un was seriously tough. He was harder on Vladimir Putin than any other president, and you know the he election got stole from him and all that stuff. Uh, uh, Putin, I mean, we said this when Hillary Clinton was. I mean, that was part of the whole election thing. It was like Clinton was going to be tough on Putin. And then Trump said, I mean, which he's smart because it got all them people who like to be racist but not go to war. A sizable part of America. Not go to war unless uh, they're darker than Russians. Like we can bomb people in the right circumstances. But why make Putin mad? He's got a lot of qualities we look for in leaders who aren't Hillary Clinton. And Trump said, why would I? I won't be friends with Putin. Of course, we <laughs> that was already that was already in the works. Yeah, yeah that, that started way before yeah, yeah. Well, they were running for president. Yeah, he yeah. didn't have to get yeah, he was, was uh, he was like, Yeah, we'll uh 
it, it, uh, why it, antagonize the man? He said, it, "It's money." I mean, people are right now getting arrested for slush. I mean, <laughs> they gave that's right now. I, I saw, and I, I don't get on Twitter, but you know, McCarthy's on there. There's no reason for us to spend. One dime at uh, America might have Russia, blah, 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 all that. Say, well, you going to give back all of that? Uh, is that GOP going to give all that money back if they, they give every, all y'all's campaigns? They, they, they slushed it through a bunch of places. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, it, it, it's just crazy. And I remember also it wasn't, uh, I think before even Lindsey Graham got on Fox saying we need to assassinate him or whatever, he was old handed it saying, oh, somebody, we need to assassinate Putin, need to take him out. It wasn't how long ago he was the one that started the biggest love affair. He got more Americans to love Putin than even Trump before Trump started in. He, uh, during Obama, he loved Putin. Put, well, that's a leader right there, strong on a horse without a shirt. Look at that right there. Look at, uh, uh, oh, I tell you what, I love me. A good Putin leader. Oh, no, now you want, now you want it. Now, yeah, now after he does this, we won't say his name. Yeah. They all full of it, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I don't know what would have happened if uh, Hillary Clinton had won. This sort of thing might have happened four or five years ago. What was happening four or five years ago? Well, who was Russia invading then? All this bullshit that's been happening, it just would have it kept happened. It. But this standoff might have happened back then instead of, you know, letting Putin do what he wanted to for for the yeah. years. I yeah, guess he did. Years. I mean, I, you know, people have said that Putin was counting on, on Trump to pull out of NATO. Yeah. Pull out of Europe and just let Putin do what he wants. If Trump were to get back in office, he would have done it. That would have been the first big thing he would have done. Had he, you, uh, you think it was bad when he did no four years of what he it, it is. Other stuff he tried to do. Had he got in, he would have done that more. No, damn right. He would have pulled out. of And, you, uh, and, and when, Trump come, becomes president again. <laughs> like, just watch the Republicans all of a sudden. Lindsey Graham be like, "Well, when I said kill him, I meant kill him with kindness. Yeah, brush his horse, hold his shirt while he takes it off, uh, things like that. Not kill him in a murdering sense. I knew Russians like to kill people." Um, and I mean that as a compliment. So when I said that, I was just appealing to your better natures as uh, Europe's murderers. Now it's hard to tell what Russians think. You always you always want to want the Russians to be protesting Putin, but there's plenty of people ro- protesting Putin. There's plenty of jail over there for it too. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of people scared of Putin. There's plenty of people getting out only misinformation and stuff Putin wants them to hear. And then they see these, these Z people. Have you heard about the Zs? Is this some sort of propaganda I'm falling for? That uh, Russians are, uh, I would imagine these are the the MAGAs of Russia. For They're sure. putting Z on their trucks, which stands for something like, let's just say, kill Ukrainians. Yeah. It's a unity thing. It's like Russia's at war. We're coming together. We're going to the. West, we're going to kill Zelensky. We're going to, it could mean uh, get the Nazis or something. I read uh, a thing where it's saying that th- all the things it could mean, but I think what it really means is just like, I, I'm, I, I'm scared. It's what it means. Yeah. I'm, me personally, uh, it's scary. But hopefully there's more protesting Russians than MAGA Putin Russians. There's a lot of Russians. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah a whole bunch of them, yeah. And when Trump becomes president again, I don't think he's going to be dressing up planes like Chinese no. planes, or he's going to be dressing them up like maybe paint them look like clouds. So I'll be like, why are all these bombs falling out of these clouds? I don't think he's going to, I think he'll just be letting Putin do what he wants to do. And then all the Republicans right now, They'll they'll just be back where they were before. Or some oh. of them, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just like you have people who you can have some Republicans say, no, this is terrible. We need to stop Putin. And some pe- Republicans say, oh, no, we're back on Putin's side. We do whatever Trump says. It doesn't matter. That makes it look like you have a balanced government. But basically, you're just letting evil people do whatever they want to. It's sort of like when uh, uh, Billy Bob Barr says, 
you know, Trump was the worst president ever, evil, stupid, a child, those tantrums, just completely uh, worst uh, equipped pre- for the job. Person's ever been president every day. I just wept for our country. I would vote for him again, of course. But just the worst, really. Just, just every day. Call, he was all like everybody else. I saw it on TV. He was plain as day that he caused, uh, uh, you know, Daddy where said he did oh, yeah. that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. The the police officers who, who, who were fault. murdered that day. And, and yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that was, yeah, he he did that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, would you vote for him? And, and what? Well, who else is running? So, yeah, yeah. Is there anybody? I probably would vote for him. If, and the thing is, he, uh, I think he did anything else to say. He wasn't a pro- he wasn't prosecute him for anything either. Oh yeah, he's very guilty. I wouldn't. Well, we know that. Him for anything. I wouldn't prosecute him. He thinks a president can do anything the president wants to. That's crazy in itself. <laughs> Just like it's partisan because he because he says what did he say? He says that he thinks the worst, no matter how bad uh, Trump is. He still thinks that it's better than uh, the Democrats. Uh, the greatest threat to the country is the progressive agenda being pushed by Democrats. It's inconceivable yeah. to me. I wouldn't vote for the GOP nominee. And then Savannah Guthrie said, even if he lied about the election and threatened democracy better than a Democrat. Well, but, you know, yeah, better that than, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. But also, he believes the president can do whatever he wants to, even if the president is Trump. Even if he's uh, a child who throws a tantrum, especially when he's Trump, Lord especially knows, when he's Trump, Bill Barr did did a lot of hand wringing. Well, not did too much hand wringing. He did did you know jump through the hoops and he do take care of him at all costs and, and did a good job of it. Till I guess right up the end, I guess we're supposed to be grateful that it, that it, that he said uh, actually the election wasn't stolen. Like we're supposed to bend over and kiss Bill Barr's butt because he said the truth. Which I mean, that's that's a big deal in the GOP nowadays. That's that's just something you know. That's something you don't see that often. But you can't do one thing. You can't have cake, eat two, all that, whatever, and then still vote. He mad man. He too he's irrational, crazy. Uh, oh yeah, about it. When he becomes president again, it will. It, my vote will, oh, will would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what a nightmare it will be. I do. I think just him wringing his hands. Like it, the more you hear about this book, it just seems like he's just sitting there wringing his hands. Going, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. This is a, such a classic, like weird Republican belief system is that the president, this is like something you just designed for yourself to write about in like some deranged philosophy class. Like, it's like the last temptation of Christ or something, except Jesus is, is not high, but he's uh, Bill Barr, the worst scenario for Jesus. I'm sorry, Jesus. I think don't, that's don't make. Yeah. I, I, I just blasphemed. You, I, I'd rather you say Jesus did drugs and say he like Bill Barr. Well, don't, oh, uh-uh, boy, no, oh, sir. Oh. Bill Barr, like, well, the pre the, the worst, the president can do no wrong. What if the worst person in the world becomes president? What, you mean like Donald Trump? Uh, they like design this little weird thing for himself to get all worked up about and winds up as the attorney general and then has to actually uh, act on it, although he doesn't really. Uh, just weird. That's weird. It's like he's doing all these theoretical things like a trolley hitting the people on the track, except he really did it, and the trolley hit a lot of people. It's still hitting people. Can't wait. Somebody should, for the next election, if Trump w- w- runs, somebody should follow Bill Barr to the voting booth with the camera. Is that illegal to say? I just want to see him come out. I think you can look you, on his face. You can't get in the booth with him. Yeah, you can't walk yeah, all the way well, in there, take pictures. But you probably walk him up to it. Yeah. Lazy, cowardly. <laughs> well, that's all of that's them. That's the it. worst. That's the like uh, of all the people who could have done something at the time. That that's just the worst. That's mind blowing. Like we're like, why didn't you say something, man? Why didn't you do something, man? Oh, we thought we could help. Whatever. Why didn't he do something? I I don't know. Yeesh. You don't get paid for it. You got to write a book. 
Who's going to buy that book? If I, 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 I would enjoy hearing some of the stories in that book, but if I, you see me purchasing it from a, a B Dalton or whatever is left, take it from my hand and beat this shit out of me with it. Yeah, don't I, don't spend a dime on that Disfigure damn book. Figure me with that book, please. Beat to death by Bell Bar book. Uh, can you can you imagine? Better than reading it. Better than reading it. I'll just I'll just read the stories on Twitter. Bad enough. Well, evidently, he didn't need Bill Barr as much as he thought he did. Well, he did at the time. Bill Barr definitely helped him out. Don't get me wrong. Bill Barr did his, did his, did his job. But, like, now they quit. Bill Barr kicked him out, get the hell out of here, slammed his hand on the desk, whatever the hell else, said, go get out, which I'm sure he wanted to do that for a long time, finally had a reason to. But even without Bill Barr protecting some, some people get all excited. And I don't know why people get worked up. They say, oh, well, the January. where – Shit committee, they now they 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 put your papers up in front of the judge saying, Oh, conspiracy to commit fraud against America. Go, oh my goodness, here this may be a crime. Uh we need the phone. We need the phone, uh, or emails, whatever you call it, goes in the air. We need all that from his lawyer and him, because they was talking about how not to, you know, how to hold on to president and whatnot, lie, cheat, whatever else you got to do it to the last minute, you know, have a bunch of people attack the damn capital. And people are going, oh, this is it right here. You want Merrick Garland, as soon as he sees this, he's got to, he, and the judge agreed with him too. He said, yeah, you probably should look. I'm, I know they'll appeal it, but hey, you know, he's still going ahead. Yeah, he needs to see all them emails. Probably do, which I think they do, and they're right to ask for them. But as far as they're going to be in result of that, hell, when has he ever, remember Mueller, remember that? Yes, yes, years ago. Remember that? I don't know if you remember Dunlap. They said because of him, you know, Russia funneling money through the NRA and other places and all this helped Trump become president, uh, hacking her emails, getting it out, all this, all Russia, Russia, Russia. You know, that was going to be it. That was going to be it. You wait and say, hell, and it turns out it was for the most part, but it did it make a damn difference? No, it didn't. This ain't going to be New York. Oh, eh? no, they're getting him out. They're going to get him in New York. Two, two, uh, what, the prosecutors quit. Because he said, well, he ain't, we ain't going to follow through with this. Which I, I'll be honest, maybe they shouldn't. I don't know. Sure, we'd all like to see him go to jail, but that ain't never going to happen. Do you want him to have people attack a courthouse? Do you want him to sit, give him a chance to sit there and be on TV screaming on the microphone in the court? Maybe maybe they're right. Just let, just let him stay at Mar-a-Lago. But he ain't, see, that's what he ain't going to do. He's going to run for damn president and might as well, very well could well win. But all these people on Twitter, all these Democrats getting all excited and this and that. Oh, it's it right here. You wait and see. Oh, oh. hurry up, Merrick Garland. I know you're doing your job. Time to, yeah, what are you, you going to do? They ain't done nothing yet. And I don't see him doing anything anytime soon. I, don't, I, I just don't understand how people still get to get worked up for it somehow. Don't make a damn bit of sense to me. He's out there planning on painting some planes like China planes and sitting on his night. You know, ain't none of this going to touch him. How many, are there any other cases? Well, they had one in Georgia, remember now? Oh, the Georgia, yeah. Georgia, now who, what's going to come with that? Well, I mean, there's evidence. We started, we, it's on the phone. He's sitting there saying it. Yeah, we know there's evidence that Russia did this and that. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. Bill Barr may said it wasn't there, but then, you know, well, it, it, actually it is. But it don't make a damn bit of difference. There's they, there's several suits going ahead in the court. Judges will let that go ahead. People who were at the people that worked at the damn January 6th suing him, which they should. I hope that goes somewhere. If anybody deserves anything out of this, it's him. Even if Trump don't go to jail, hopefully he write a big check or have to write a big check some of those poor people. He ain't getting no help in no courthouses right now, which I agree. Judges seem to be letting this all in. He's stacking damn Supreme Court. They ain't helping him none. But he sure ain't getting in no damn trouble. He ain't ever got no trouble, as far as I can see. Worst thing that happened to him is he didn't get to be president twice. That's about it. Everything else seemed to be just like it always was. I Yeah, maybe Merrick Garland's on his way down to Florida right now, get, throwing that over him. Hell, 
He'd get tangled up in that net. Yeah, he wasn't bad. Yeah. I'd like to see it. I don't think it's going to happen. Even if he didn't go to jail, I I make it there with Merrick Garland. Even if you can't convict him on a thing, you know you can't get it in front of a jury. ain't enough evidence. Can you just go down there and put a net on it? That's good enough for me. That'd make all them people on Twitter, at least more than half of them. They'd throw a press conference with the big net hanging up over them, and they'd say, we were going to. We thought long and hard. It's very important to me that process due pro, justice in the system of, and we have decided that we will not be pressing charges against. And then the net would fall on them. They start everybody. They'd all get tangled up in it. I mean, for Nick Garland hurt his knee, fall down. Trump in the background, laughing. Dressed up like a uh, got a Chinese flag on him. He's pretending to be an airplane, thinking nobody's going to see him. Just laughing there in the net. He's going around going, rawr, rawr, thinking that's how a plane goes. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just get this. Listen, we shouldn't get down. I, I was going to, I was about to say, we should let the Trump stuff go. People say all the time, why are you still talking about Trump? It's like we're doing like Nixon material in 1983. I was going to say we should save all this for being upset about what's happening in Ukraine. But it's connected. It's directly connected. It's the <laughs> same book. It well, ain't the, a different book. Well, the, the best patriots of this country, uh, Colonel Venman, people saying to arrest this man, put him in jail every day for doing his damn job and for telling people with the truth. He's family from Ukraine. U- Ukraine. He, he is Ukraine. He did. He was. He told the damn truth and more people attacked that poor man. He lost his job, his career in, in military. Trump fired him everything else and Trump still sitting up there laughing in, in this true patriot who served his country, I might add. Career in the military, about the, as good as you can get a career in the military, all gone. And why? Because his job was to be on the phone when the president talked to the president of Ukraine. That's it. And he told the damn truth. Every bit of it's connected, which is weird. It, it, it's, it is weird because we've heard what they all said about, you know, Zelensky is a puppet. I mean, how many things have we heard terrible about this? This poor man. Braver than hell. That's the bravest damn puppet I ever seen in my life. And also, we should say there's plenty of Republicans and uh, uh, Trumpies who don't believe that Ukraine is good. They believe something like they a conspiracy theory. You know, there's a bunch of different conspiracy theories you can choose to believe about what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, one was that. Wait, did you hear? Where did I hear this? That Fauci, they're bombing Fauci factories or where Fauci's building some kind of. Hey, all the animals and stuff. He was making a mutant, uh, yeah, creature or something. Else. Yeah. What the fuck, man? So, and that's just one <laughs> of the uh, conspiracy theories you can choose to believe. So they play oh. people. And they, some, uh, all, you know, some people are just like, well, if they're winning, uh, you know, it ain't like everybody over here was. We were not a hundred percent in favor of going after Hitler. We were not like oh no, I did in going to in World that, War Two. That took uh, Pearl Harbor. To do that, yeah. And then we got to use that to be real racist. So something for everybody. Don't give. Don't give. Anybody any ideas on that? Hell. So, did you watch the State of the Union, Jackie? I, it was on. I didn't, you know. Did you fall asleep? I, I usually do, no matter who it is. Yeah. No offense to Biden, but especially because of hell. You know what I mean? Let's put it that way. I fall asleep in all of them. And, and uh, like, I ain't going to fall asleep in Biden. I probably fall asleep in Biden about 30 minutes earlier than I normally do in them. I don't know. Did something happen? I know they were making big deal. It's one of them things where, like, nothing really happens. 
I and mean, if you, if you all call Bobert or whatever, and I miss heckling when he's talking about his dead son, but that's what she does every day somewhere. Yeah. somewhere. It don't matter if it happened there, wherever it was. Yeah. And he's just, what was his message? Hey. I think his message was, remember all that stuff I tried to pass in the the, the thing in, in Joe Manchin and Cinema wouldn't, wouldn't let me do it. Come on, come on, let me do that. I think that was a myth. United against Russia, of course, yes, and that's very important. I don't mean to make light of that. Yes, he come out and said that. Uh, you know, people like Marco Rubio, a few people knew they would probably have to get up, and stand and clap a little too much. So, you know, what he said, he didn't need, a, he didn't have time to take a COVID test, which literally takes what a minute less than that to get a COVID test. Now, I like, they said I got to take a COVID test, go stay you. I, I ain't gonna go. Well, they really know why he didn't go because he gonna have to stand up, and clap. You could have sat with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Bobert and heckled a little bit too if you wanted to. I mean, you got all sorts of options. You can be real cool standing in the back like you had a show to stand by the bar drinking beer. They got a bar at these things. And then, like, you can, when they stand up and heckle, you go, Yes, ladies, yes. Like, you're the cool dude, the tastemaker at the show. And then uh, back there, too cool to care. Then when he says something about Ukraine, you go, You said it, pops. Sunglasses on, mustache, maybe put a fake mustache on. A lot, a lot of people in disguises this week. A lot of people want to disguise planes and themselves in this in this episode of Red State Update. So we didn't watch the State of the Union. Uh, uh, Pompeo wants to disguise everything he said about Putin until about a month ago. Yeah, a lot of them, yeah. Pompeo. Pompeo, I know we're scared of DeSantis. Uh, I guess nobody's scared of Pompeo, which is good because he's he wants it too much. The thing about DeSantis is he keeps himself busy, so he doesn't look like he wants to be president too much. He's real busy just being real uh, mean to kids, gay kids, uh, just a terrible person. School kids wearing masks. Anybody is a terrible is a terrible person. So he doesn't look, you think, oh, he wants to be president real bad. Uh, and that's the reason he's doing all this awful stuff. I, I don't know if you notice this or not, Dunlap, but that sort of stuff he's doing, that seems to track these days. That's no, no, he, he's yeah. doing that. That's why he's doing that to become president. I know. It's, a smarter yeah. tra- it's a smarter tragedy, I almost said. Strategy. It's a smarter strategy than Pompeo, which is just a really look needy, just real yeah. thirsty for presidency. Then he's doing all this and it looks like, oh, he's so busy. He, I sign him on the news all the time. He's always uh, trying to get gay kids killed or doing this, that. This is the worst person on the world. Yeah, he, he didn't seem too desperate to me, but that's why he's doing all this stuff. Yelling, you know, Just awful. Just a terrible, terrible person. His press secretary said that if you uh, are concerned about the uh, don't say gay uh, Bill, that you are uh, grooming children for pedophiles. I guess basically that you're a pedophile. That if you, I guess that's basically it. Although I don't know if she distinguished between, I think the grooming part is, is, but she really just, she just wants to call everybody pedophiles, which is that's his press secretary. So that's sort of her job. I guess that's her job. I mean, to refer to, to people that you oppose as, as pedophiles. I, I know is, it's, it's extra tasteless because of the, the gay aspect of it. Yes, of course. Absolutely. But really, you could have been doing all sorts of stuff and they won't we'll call you a pedophile. We saw that how many past elections. That's what a Republican press secretary does now. Just uh, name uh, people in places that could uh, be or hold pedophiles. Yeah. Not Trump. But everybody else in the world oh, yeah. who's been on TV. That's going to come to a head at some point, and I ain't looking forward to it because as close as you get to the, at, you know, especially if the midterms, if, they, if a Republican get it all like they're supposed to, closer we get to the next election, it's going to come to a head, DeSantis and Trump, and it's going to be a contest to who can be the biggest butthole alive on the planet Earth. DeSantis, because he's sort of like Trump and Jason Miller combined. Like you I, don't, I, I agree. Yeah, that you don't have to have somebody uh, taking Trump's worst impulses and 
funneling them in a direction. Like he can do that on his own. Yeah. He don't he need no funnel guidance. himself. He don't need no guidance. No. Funnel himself. What? So he's, uh, and he just keeps getting worse. Greg Abbott wants to be DeSantis, uh, and, and he's making strides towards it, uh, that was bad. but he's doing a pretty good job, but he, uh, with his, uh, report, the parents of trans kids, just awful, just terrible. Well. And then, you know, and then all the other governors tried to be, he's number two and he's still uh, a trendsetter because Kim Reynolds in uh, signed the bill, uh, banning trans athletes from uh, girls teams. She gave the response to the state of the union, the Republican one, not the 19 Democrat ones. Here in Tennessee, our governor. Waiting, to, he has to goes down the down the list. He said, "What the Santa does in it, then Abbott, and then me." Yeah, that, uh, Abbott is it, it desperate. You can see, like I said, well, there you can't say it, but here we put you in jail for it. Double down, as they say. Double down, as they say. So that Disney, uh, Disney, uh, new boss at Disney. <laughs> was tried to be I guess Disney gave money to all the uh I guess if you're Disney and you in Florida you're giving money to all the politicians. Yeah, that's you probably you should, yeah. you're gonna have to stop doing that. Yeah, I think so. Well Disney think so. remember they, they used to have and, and the, hopefully they still do. They had remember years ago it was a bit controversial because they had gay days. Well you all all you just days where all gay people come to Disneyland. Of course they should be able to go whenever the hell they want to, but you know have a gay day. That's fine. Me, I'm sure they liked it as much as anybody, you know, did want them. I'm sure they had a good time when they did. But yeah, Disney's always been, you know, usually on the right side of some of that stuff after years and years. I ain't talking about the Song of the South days. I'm talking about, you know, well, they had a Spider Man days. Bob Iger want, was more outspoken and more not perfect or no. great, probably, but like he was more outspoken. This new guy. Uh, more outspoken, like in a good way. He would, they would sometimes make stands on things. This new guy does not want to make stands on things. I mean, things are, you know, political, but Jesus Christ, man, this is shitty. Yeah. And nobody wants to stand up to this uh, Florida governor. They know if they say anything, maybe in some other case, they're like, oh, well, you can't say anything. This dude, he's crazy. You're going to have to say something to this dude because it's getting worse and worse online. And gay people know that you tried to make a bunch of money off him. At certain times of the year. Yep. And now, and now you just want to, uh, 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 be like, well, I don't know. I kind of like, I like to think of ourselves as a unifying force, uh, because everybody likes cartoons. I don't think, and then I think he came out and said something a little more forceful, but he still doesn't know what the fuck to do. And they got a million fucking employees. This is the thing. I don't understand. We, there were companies that were making stands on some of these in some it of these seemed, states on some of these like issues. Started, not, not just uh, as important as this issue was, voting rights, all sorts of things that are going on right now with the, with the Republican Party, what they're trying to do. Yeah, uh, in Georgia, yeah. in Texas, in uh, North Carolina, in uh, Florida, I mean, the companies corporations, evil soulless corporations have made uh, differences. And now it seems like, I don't know if it's because they're scared. It just seems like they're doing less. It does. Even, even, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess you could just say, uh, capitalism is fulfilling is perfect. Well, I don't yeah. know. I'm not a commie. I don't know. All I do is read Twitter and I go like, ah, I guess jobs are bad now. That's cool. That's fine with me. I like this new world. I don't know why, what the Disney dude's supposed to do, but I know that Florida guy's an asshole. Like, I, if I were Disney, I'd be like, fuck you. 
I'm fucking Disney. I'm not going to let the governor of Florida fucking tell me what to do. Forget morality and being decent and caring about the, the futures of children. I'd be just like, my dick is bigger than the hey. fucking governor of Florida's dick. I run what? fucking Disney. That is a global corporation. This little chinless motherfucker with the forehead and hair. Hey, we could crush him. The governor of Florida is trying to tell me what to do. I run Disney. I am evil incarnate. I am filled with hellfire and brimstone. I am a, a head demon. I may not be the devil, but I would be way up in the ranks of demons. And this motherfucker hey. is yelling at cut like, just take them off. Just take them off. Please. Come on. Come on. To take off their mask like an idiot. A baby who hates masks. I run the thing that babies watch babies beg for me i'm disney this motherfucker runs disney and he's afraid of the governor of florida fuck him hey fuck mickey mouse fuck chip and dale fuck daisy duck hey fuck fuck daisy duck i I said it don't. She's gotten a free I, ride. Enough. Watch your mouth. I don't want to hear about it. Look, as big as a corporation. Fuck horse, horse collar. Big as corporation as Disney is, it's just like the rest of us. COVID hurt. Got that wind knocked out of it. It's crazy. Don't know what to do. Couldn't nobody come to the damn parks. Couldn't nobody go see the movies. Well, we make sure everybody can watch it on the inside of the house. We make sure of that right now. But they they scared. Don't know what the hell's going on in the world like everybody else. Yes, we- should they take a stand for human rights? You're damn right they should. But the body dollar, they don't know where it's going. They don't know what's going to flow this way or flow that way. Listen, you're right. It's Mickey damn mouse. He's always going to get that dollar. They control the dollar. They like a... Got a flute and they play it, and the dollar comes to them. Take it, mouse decides where that dollar gub comes from, decides where that dollar goes. He's like, Come here, dollar. And it goes right up his fucking butt if he wants it to. Hey, then why do you bend right that? over, and the dollar goes right up his mouth's butt. We don't talk about Bruno, which is the number one song in America. The number one song. They control everything. They control everything. I cannot believe. It's just like with truckers. I cannot believe trucker MAGA does not get truckers. I can't. We can't let them take truckers. And we can't. It's, we can't. <laughs> this. There's problems with truckers. There's problems with Disney. But we're not going to let the bad guys take them. There are problematic things. I want to go to Disney World and sweat my ass off. It's, Wait been year. it's been years. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I, it get, I need to sit down after a while, but yeah. I need like to sit it. down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah after you walk for Well, that's what they got to get a sandwich. I get you meat on a stick or what all that stuff is. I'd eat that $20. They get me parents down in a damn amusement park. And paying uh, $20 for a, a fucking uh, corn dog. Yeah. And they're scared of grit. This dude needs to go. If you can't run Disney and crush fucking DeSantis, they right. should just say, you know what? We're just going to shut that. We're going to take a break. We're just going to take a little Florida break. But don't they make all the superhero movies in, in Georgia, right? That's what Spider Man is, they all can, that stuff. They, 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 they got half of Georgia. They, they could, you know, they, they won't let people vote Georgia. Uh, and I, I think they're saying the right things, but they need to say a little bit more. Marjorie Taylor Greene was like, all right, good, let them go. We don't need them. I'm sure people in uh, Foggy Georgia, like, uh, who like money, were like, shut the fuck up. Like, get rid of them. We don't want Hollywood in Georgia. But Marjorie Taylor Green said, and then, I married no, I don't know. Good, like I, I don't know what to do. I, if if you can't run this, the the, the, uh, the fucking DeSantis was pushing the cruise ships around. Remember, we were like, why is he picking a fight there? He's not gonna win that. I mean, he. I don't think he won it. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't like the cruise ship said, "You do what we say." 
Well, yeah, you know, a lot of people, a lot of cruise ships had COVID repeatedly break out on it. What happened? That's what, yeah. These people think that. Well, I mean, now big, that's part of the Republican uh, mantra is uh, you go after big business too. It's big Hollywood and big business trying to tell us that we can't ruin uh, children's lives. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. That's what, that's where you see how much, because before it was money. Money was the most important thing. Now we see even money doesn't matter as much as cruelty and power and using cruelty to get to power. And I guess even Mickey Mouse is no match. Yeah, I guess Greg, I guess, uh, DeSantis, he wanted to call DeSantis Greg Abbott, which I know would piss him both off. I guess DeSantis is going to be president because he's mean and cruel. And <laughs> has it, and has it, 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 it incited a, a riot against the nation's capital as of yet. As of yet, but when he does, it'll be a it'll be a good one. It'll oh, be he'll, he'll he'll do it. He'll do it that much better. You wait and see. And uh, Bill Barr happily vote for him. Oh Jesus! I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about it. Thanks for coming back and joining us. We're still on here. We're going to do our sponsors now. If that's all right with you, Dunlap, can I do my sponsors? Uh, well, hold on a second, Jackie. Right. Uh, I mean, I appreciate you checking with me. Well, I just I did. Let me work. just make sure we're on schedule. I uh, don't want to make sure you didn't want to run your mouth about something or whatever else. Get it out of the way before I start doing my sponsors because I got a lot. Anyhow, I, I, when, when it's time for me to do it, I'll do it. Did Absolutely. we go through all the news? Did we get through all the news? You think? I mean, I, I think we made some. I think we had some very strong points we made in there wow. uh, somewhere. If I somebody wanted to dig in and edit those out and put them up, make it sound smart, make it. Yeah, you could probably get to. You could probably condense it down to about fifteen minutes, and it might make some sense. I don't, I don't know. Don't It'd know. be tough. Yeah, you know, I like, like which which awful thing that we talk about that makes sense because you're all awful, but which of it? Uh, uh, don't none of it make make a damn a difference any of it, but, but still, if it makes us look halfway, you know, halfway intelligent. But I don't know. I don't know what you, I did. I shouldn't be the one to judge that. That's right. Yeah, we can't. Ju- I nope. mean, somebody's got to tell us how good it is. We and we appreciate when that. y'all do too. I, I, I swear, it's coming on that when y'all go over to uh, what's it, Pedro Page? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. When you leave our, our, our favorite listeners, I'll allow y'all to help support us and oh, keep us yeah. doing this. And, and, and we try to keep up. And we apologize. We slip behind. We're going to make it up to you. You'll have a, you'll have some extra long, uh, uh, extra long, extra 20 minutes, which I guess that would be 30 to 40 to anywhere longer than that. But you know, we, 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 we do keep you in mind. We're trying to please, please y'all. Cause y'all sure do please us. We can't thank you enough for supporting us. Keeping us going on here. That extra 20 minutes, by the way, the all that ain't our pay call, the reason you get to listen to that, or if you have any interest in listening to that, is $5 uh, a month or more. Some people, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. And you tell me that, and I still think you're lying half the time. Some people actually give us more than $5 a month. And, of course, that money helps go keep the computer running, uh, paying to get the thing up so everybody can listen to it and all that stuff that takes care of that. It gives you a little, maybe a little bit of extra little bit of extra spending money uh, ever so often. And I know what Dunlap does with it. He, he drinks it all up. It's true. It is. So uh, you keep him uh, drunk. Keep this uh, uh, parkish to going. Uh, keep it moving. Uh, we can't thank y'all enough uh, for helping us out. But, yeah, when y'all are on there and say, good job of this, or this is funny, or sometimes – just as good. I, we don't like to hear this much, but like y'all got this wrong. What the hell are y'all talking about here? I mean, yeah, but we need to hear it. You need to tell us what's wrong because we'll try to get better. Uh, but uh, but it, it is nice, probably nicer to hear y'all sure did make us like you were right about this. And not that not that y'all sound like that. It sounds like I'm trying to belittle our, our patrons. Yeah, that. you sound like an I asshole right now. Well, there. no, I'm not trying to I'm trying to thank you. I'm just saying we like it. When you support us, you're already supporting this. So you should be able to say whatever the hell you want to about it. It's what I mean. So that's it. 
But uh, uh, like I said, we couldn't keep on doing this without you. Probably wouldn't be, that's for sure, if, if it weren't for y'all. So we, we were just grateful that people want to hear anything we got to say and then support us in saying it. So, uh, but we also need to have our local sponsors here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, local sponsor. They give us $25. Oh, yeah. This is great, Jackie. I'm excited this week. What? I think well, you're going to really like my sponsor. Well, this I week. No, I won't go first because I got. I'm just really with. proud. I want you to be proud. Okay, go ahead. But I you're going to. I'm proud of my sponsor. I'm going to say No, that. I want you to be proud of me. Well, uh, uh, oh. You say that now. Uh, nothing. You say nothing now. Well, I ain't got nothing to say. I don't know what the hell to be proud of you about. I don't but know. But later you'll be like, I'm proud of you, Dunlap. You finally did it. So I ain't here- proud that people give you five dollars a month to stay drunk. Why should I be proud of you for that? That don't make any sense. Y'all are fine. Y'all give money to do whatever he wants to. If y'all like him drunk, by all means, that's up to you. But that's a personal a choice of his. He chooses to drink that money, but I ain't proud of it. I mean, there's other reasons to be proud of me. Though. Well, that ain't one of them. It's the point I'm trying to say. That one right there is sure as hell ain't one. Uh, well, I, you, you tell me if you want to, whatever it is, I'll tell you. But I mean, I ain't going to be just proud of you willy nilly because I know who you are. That's All like, right. You well, know, go ahead with your spots. Well, I'm I trying did. to do it. I've been trying to do it since we got, since I got on here talking. And, and, and my spots is a little bit different. It's a little bit strange. It's almost a, 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 a what you call a prequel. Uh, to a sponsor, if that's, if that's the right way to say it. Uh, but I'm I'm laying the groundwork. I'm letting you know I'm building this up. And I'll be the first one to be honest with you. I, I'm not going to lie, especially to all our listeners. I, I would never tell you something that ain't true. So I will say about this particular sponsor, I did take the $25 out of my pocket, put it in my other hand, and put it in my other pocket because I got a little say in this. This is a little bit of what you call a self-promotion, which I'm doing all I can to learn about. There's a lot to learn. Uh, and, and, and let me just start from the beginning, let y'all know what's going on. I had to go down to co-op uh, uh, this week. I had to get down there. Uh, uh, and and I usually have about four or five pairs, but my overall is getting a little bit, you know, you can only wash them so many times when you uh, grease, whatever it is you do with them. At some point, that's all clothes. They, they, they go, they, you can only wash them so many times and then they, they ain't ever going to get cleaned again or they start to, the thread count. Go, you know, they, they, they things wear out. That's where, hell, I'm wearing out. My skin's wearing out. My bones are wearing out. Of course, my overall is going to wear out. So I need a new pair. And I went down to co op. I was going through and whatnot. And it's oh, co op has co op sales overalls. Well, they got some there, yeah. I mean, they sell other things, but they got, yeah, they got. What what percent of your clothes would you say comes from Farmers Co-op? Well, it's just easier because I wear overalls. They're sitting right there. And just go get them, you know. They, I know where to go. I, I ain't got to get on the catalog. I ain't got to go down to, 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 you know, Walmart and say, you know, where's the overalls at? What are they, you know, they got the right size. They got, the, you know, they got a whole damn overall section Co-op. I know I get there. It's, it's simple shopping. You go straight there. You get him. You go out. I know my size. I ain't, you know, I ain't getting no bigger. I'm lucky to be maintaining because sometimes you get up and lay, you don't weather away to nothing. But I'm holding on to my my girth so far. And I had to get down there and get me a new pair. Do you say you're holding on to your girth? Well, yeah, so far. Uh-huh. It, I'm holding on to it. It's still here. I got I got a hold of that girl. But yeah. it, it ain't Did you have a hold of it in co-op? Well, I mean it's, it's I got a hold of it wherever I go, I guess. I guess you do. Anybody ever ask you to leave? Why? What did they ask me to leave for? What do they care about how much away? And like either way, I ain't weathered away. Knock on wood. So far, good Lord, hadn't decided to you know make me a, a bag of bones just yet. Uh, then, like I said, no massage, nowhere to go. Go get them. And, you know, I do try to try them on if they seem like a little long hair, a little big gal, a little not right. You know, I will try them on. They got you know you can. They got a train room at go off. I do. You, if you can't see that, just ask them. Is there somebody there to hem them up for you? Well. Uh, I don't know if they if they there, but you know, 
I, I could do that on my own. I've done that on my whole life. But hopefully you get the right size. You ain't got to do it all that, it's, you know. If Pelly's mama still works there, she used to. Oh, yeah. She, she, she used to sew some. She used to sew all sorts of stuff. I didn't know she did it at the co-op. I ain't no pilot. My mama uh, did that there. I know she showed stuff all the time. But, uh, she made the costumes for a play when I was in high school. Oh, uh, yeah. She also owned Murfreesboro Play Actor Club. Did did some. I think she yeah. did all the, what did they do? The, the Oliver song with the little boy, Oliver. And she did all them. All, all them hats. All It was Oliver and one of the orphans. Uh, well, I remember that one time they're like, "Are we?" When you have kids in a show, you make so many, so much money because everybody comes see the kids. Yeah, got to come show. see the grand granddaddy. Got to come see aunt. Got to come see you know. If not, yeah, you 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 fill you fill fill it up in there. Yeah, you. Got well, remember that? So they did Oliver meets Annie. Oh, they put all the orphan shows together. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. I couldn't yeah. remember which one it was. They that's right. They had all the. All little aunt, all little girl, uh, orphans, all little boy orphans. Uh-huh. You're gonna double up. That's right. Family on both sides. You right. And they just family. do the song. It's basically it's easy to write that play because they just took what they wanted from each one. Well, and then I, they sing at the end. They somebody wrote. I can't. And maybe been Pelly's mama wrote uh, the song Oliver meets Annie. Only sang it at the in the thing. They sang they at the, the end. I can song. remember. Oliver meets Annie. I mean, it was, it sounds very obvious, like I, but there was a whole th- lead up to it that really made it pay off. Well, I like both of them. I, I like a good orphan show anyway. A bunch of little kids, they got a family and they sing about it. That's usually a good choice. Say it, thing like yeah. that, but they usually, and if they can both families, they end up with some rich uh, white people take care of them, which is good. Uh-huh. That's what you want. Uh, to for orphan, there's nothing the orphan wants more than that. That's just all of them want, and, and, and so at least even the sad part. Well, at the end, everybody turned out okay. I think both of them wind up with some money. You know, whether well, they yeah, live it in money, you know. Really. They did the Annie at the Murfreesboro Play Actors Club uh, for about 17 years. They did one every year because I yeah. remember who was it that had the first. Daddy Warbucks with hair. Remember that was that's big. right. I can't remember the name, but he was yeah, that was a tra- that's thing. a translator right there. He was something else. Yeah, that, that somebody changed. could tell us who that, that was. changed the whole. They were picketing for that. They were, you know you fell on one side. There wasn't no in betweens on yeah. that. That's for sure. I think that's why the next year they did Oliver meets Andy. Just combined that because they didn't and have then no- after, after that they did uh, Grimace meets Andy, and they got a little. Uh, McDonald's money, not just local franchise, not the corporation. Yeah. And they got in trouble for that. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you know, nowadays that sort of stuff. Years ago, you could do it any kind of show you want. Nobody give a a shit. Nobody give a damn. Yeah. Grimace in it or Oliver. Well, nowadays, everybody takes a phone out, put it up on YouTube and say, that Grimace with Annie. No, sure. No, sure. Whoever it is, it, it may not even be McDonald's. It's somebody that just don't like it. And they, they contact McDonald's or the Grimace people or the Anna people or whoever and just stir something up. Everybody trying to get on the computer, stir something up, no matter what yeah. it's about. And they lawyers like, to just look and spend all day just on YouTube or, or take a look at it. Look at it. Little theaters across the country, all little community theaters. Is always a big uh-uh. time lawyer uh, with a, a magnifying glass going, look at all you two. Like, like, what do they do here? Like, let's see what they do here. Yeah. Uh-uh. And money to be made. Yeah. Uh, uh, Neil Simon dead, right? He'd be, been dead, right? I probably, I don't know. Hell. Well, he, you know, how many shows he do? You know, he did the white version, the black version, you name it. He did all up. He, and, and like, it's just sad he done dead in the ground, I think. And then his lawyers, oh, he's still, I don't care. He could be dead from here on out, which it, which it will be. Uh, there's money to be made, you know. So they just, they just, they, they ain't got, that's what all the law you got to do is try to try to find more money somehow. Somebody doing what somebody said it shouldn't do. But I think, yeah, you should be able to do any kind of show, whatever you want to do. I like, you know, one like combine, uh, you know, bald head, white, rich man with a, you know, one with hair and put them all together, little boy, little girl. I like Annie maybe a little bit better because of the dog in it. You got a dog, 
uh, all of them didn't have no pets and no, no kind. And I remember, I don't think, I think they was, they, they, I think they referenced a horse or shoeing a horse, but you don't ever see the horse. Uh-huh. Whereas, uh, little Annie orphan, they got that dog running around with them all, all through the show. Yeah. I would, I, that seems like a hassle to me. I know that that's people like to see them at Sandy, but I'd, if I'd make it a play, the last thing I'd, I'd do is put a live dog in it. Hell. Well, yeah, it don't take much to do that. Dog, dog, as long as you got some waiters, uh, a piece of ham or something in your pocket, to keep paying attention. Dog just soon be falling around on a stage entertainment or a room full of people is sitting in the living room yeah. doing it. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Because the next year they did uh, uh, Oliver's dog meets Annie's dog. And it well, was, just, dog, it was all dogs. No, they, yeah, it didn't have no dog. No, but they had to, they made it up. And it they did. made it up. And like, he had I, a dog. I was his dog. You didn't see her. I didn't see it because, you know, they somebody off stage are talking for the animal. I remember that. So yeah. I didn't see you. So, no, he got me afterward. After <laughs> all that story. That's so, right. Oh. Well, there's a lot of time, a lot of place after the, it's over, somebody goes out and gets a dog. I'd like to see that, but I just, I don't have to clean up after it. That's why I don't be stage crew. That's the lesson right there. Yeah. Yeah. Any kind of animal you got on stage, well, with, you know, in your house anywhere, any animal you got to clean up after it, no matter whether it's a show or real life or whatever. Anything. I you mean, every play. Yeah. Every, every. You got to clean up after a dog real life or in a play. And, and you're going to get now, and a dog will learn that too, because dogs are one of the few animals that likes acting. Most animals don't like a horse, don't like it. Horse, you no. watch every John Wayne movie, every Clint Eastwood movie, that horse does not want to be there, does not like uh, making movies. Uh, no. If anything, they're indifferent occasionally, but they ain't ever had That's a good time. But you watch, ben, you watch Benji. He'd having the best time ever. Yeah, he getting treats and everything, but he like dog like attention. They like it, you know. Look at me, look at me, pet me. Look, you know that's a that's a dog nature. It's in it a people a pleasure. You know that's what to do. And a dog learn going in the bathroom on stage make everybody laugh. You are gonna have trouble with it's that over. dog. It's, it's yeah, like when they go up. on the carpet, they know that spot. It's just you might as well move. That's true. That's true. But I mean, it's, it's, it's bad enough. Just like you said, just being at home and smelling it and all that, but you get a room full of people are giggling and laughing at that dog doing number one, two, or it's ever one, you know, is doing on in the show. It's just going to do it again. Cause it's not, like I said, dog, like the act dog, like that attention dog. No, he's still in the show. And they said, that's all I got to do, you know? And sure enough, it don't take much. So, uh, and I tell you what, when I've auditioned for them, it that same does not go for people. You think it would, but no. if you think you're gonna no. pull your pants down, take a hockey on the stage, no. get cast in uh the glass menagerie, uh, I've got another thing coming. Well, I didn't want to get into all the theater shows and everything, but my sponsor, which is partly me, I'm gonna say it again, admit it 25 went one hand, one pocket to the other, but uh, it is almost is it. It is artistic as well. It is a form of expression, for sure. Uh-huh. Uh, I ain't saying it's acting or anything like that. I ain't singing. I ain't, I ain't singing old songs or nothing like that. But let me just say, I was that co-op. I was going through, trying to get the right size, checking out the yeah. hip, you know, checking out the leg length, because sometimes the leg length a little off. I got, and that ain't the overall fault. That's my my leg's fault. I got one leg. It's a little different than the other, but so if it's, you know, I can usually work it out. It ain't, it ain't that big deal, but it's something you got to check when you're out shopping. It's just one of the things you get used to it. If you sure. did it your whole life, it ain't no thing. But I was sitting there looking this and this gentleman come up behind me and said, excuse me, sir. And, I, and I'm, yeah, I thought, am I doing something? He think I'm stealing or whatever. And he said, no, no, I don't work here. And he said, I want to ask you a few questions and whatnot. And if you remember, this ain't happened a long time, but it made me think back, like, remember back in uh, 2008, every now and then somebody says, it happened about four or five times. You go to City Cafe, you with somewhere, and brother, somebody recognize you. Oh, Rich, Jackie, Rich, stay up there, you know, whatever, like that. But that ain't happening. Yeah. And, and I, no. So I knew it wasn't that. Right. And I said, well, what can I help you with, sir? And he said, I'm going to give you my card. And sure enough, he said, hey, sir, my name is Gent Cyphers. I am a talent scout. And I said, talent scout? What are you doing in co-op? He said, well, let me explain to you. And I said, well, you better, because that don't make a bit of sense. What are you doing in here? You know, what? Well, yeah, of all the places, a, a talent scout, 
We, we, you, look, you looking for a sports person? You looking for an actor person? What are you looking for? He said, no, sir, I'm looking for models. I'm looking for male models. I'm an agent, talent scout. My name was Dent Safer. He gave me his card. I looked at it. It looked official. He, it, it looked like he knew what it, it, it was. He's Dent Safer's and Associates. Agent said whatever. And he said, sir, I just wanted to ask you this. Have you ever done any kind of modeling before? And he like, of course, I'm sitting there giggling. I said, no, well, I ain't never do no modeling. Where would I go model? Nobody won't say me model anything. My hands don't look, you know, people say the, the hand model, but the, you know, the, the skin on my hands by, by paper, they got cuts all over everything else. Like, and, uh, you know, and uh, like there ain't nothing on me, even one part of my body that people want to look at, let alone the whole thing. So I didn't know what the hell he talked to me. He said, no, sir, no, sir. Overall model, I said, overall model. He said, you look li like you know how to wear overalls comfortably and relaxed and casually where it makes other people comfortable looking at you be comfortable wearing them overalls. I said, well, I don't know about all that, but I wore overalls my whole life, wore them every day. Uh, I, I guess it should be comfortable because I don't, I don't really wear anything else. It is comfortable work, and I know I'm retired. I don't work like I used to. I don't really do that anymore, but still, I like being comfortable, so I wear them overalls. I said, down to go up to get another. He said, sir, let me, let me tell you right now, please give me the opportunity to represent you, and I guarantee you, sir, and again, I, I'm doing okay. I, it ain't, I ain't in nothing like this for the money. It ain't like I, it ain't, I ain't let it go to my head. I want everybody to take pictures of me or anything. Like, I don't want all that, but it looks like something. Well, why not is what I got to say, and that's how he put it to me. So, why not, sir? So, well, I ain't going to be no more. I ain't going to, well, you walk down the runway and stuff like that. So, yes, sir, you do. He said, travel the world, he said. You tell you go all over places, overall, you know, uh, um, uh, overall shows, uh, modeling shows, uh, you know, uh, picture, uh, magazines, uh, YouTube's on the computer, on paper telephone, everybody telephone, hit a button. There you are, relaxed, casual, wearing them overalls, making them want to be as comfortable as you look. And I said, well, I don't know about all that, that guy, guy. but the more I thought about it, I said, well, I am comfortable wearing overalls and uh, old people want to wear uh, overalls as much as young people do. He said, no, no, no. Young people are going to look at you and see wisdom. Here's a man that's been wearing this brand of overalls, which I'll tell you about in a minute. For some time, obviously his whole life and look, look at how comfortable he is. He knows what he's doing. This is, this is wisdom. This is experience. If I'm going to be a young overall wearing a uh, person, I want to, I want to start doing it the right way. I want to do it like Mr. Jackie Rose. Now, he's saying that. I ain't saying that. He said this stuff, but I got to thinking about it. I said, well, if, if people looking at a picture of me being comfortable, uh, relaxed, uh, he used a word I didn't, attractively relaxed. That, that not yeah. what I said. I didn't say that. He said that attractive. He said, anybody that's relaxed is attractive. And I said, well, I don't know about that. I think they passed out on, in the street. That I don't have nothing to do with that ain't attracted me. He said, no, not like that. Relax, just comfortable with themselves, comfortable with what they're wearing. Uh, uh, come into a room and everybody said, that's somebody that knows who they are. Uh, uh, don't have any issue with anybody else. They, 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 they come in, take over the room, they wear those overalls so well. They hang off for a body, hang off for soldiers, hang, hang off for rear end. He said, not me. I say nothing about my rear end and nobody. But he said, the way that fabric, uh, that Jay fabric just hang right off of you. Uh, it, it, it says something to people. If people say that, that's somebody that knows how to wear some overalls. That's someone that knows about comfort. That's someone that knows about living and life. And I said, well, if that's how people feel just by looking at Mr. Moral, then why not? Like, uh, I'll try it. He said, sir, gave me a card. I ain't going to get into the money details or anything like that. I ain't officially signed a, uh, in a, a, a official contract, but we had a handshake deal so far. And starting, starting in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be modeling the fall line of Hilltop overall wear. The fall season wear of their new overalls coming out 
I'm going to be the, the model. I guess the spokesperson there in some regards, depending on, he said, we get into that. If you do any talking, they said, it won't hurt none to do some talking. Uh, wisdom comes out in your language and how you are. Then the people who love overalls, they, they, they're going to love you. And they're going to love the overalls that much more because you wearing them. And of course, I just, I blush it. As, as, and I'm blushing right now just to talking about it. Now, think about it. But yeah, I'm going to be the official spokesperson or spokesmodel of Hilltop's fall line of overalls. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be in some magazines. It's like I said, all them places, Com- uh, uh, commercial magazines. Uh, uh, the bill- he said going to be on the billboard. I'm going to be up on the billboard wearing them overalls, looking relaxed, attractively relaxed to everybody driving past. And I said, well, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> if that's, if that's going to make people, I don't want to swerve off the road. You know, I, you don't be so relaxed that you ain't take your, your eyes off the road, off of, you know, keep your hands on the wheel, you know. But uh, he he just said, he said, I've been doing this for years, sir. And I said, I've never seen a natural quite like you. And I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking to it as an adventure. It's something new. I've never thought about being a model my entire life. I, I, I'm barely thinking about it now, I'll be honest with you. I just, I get tickled thinking about it. I, 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 I like I said, I'm blushing right now just thinking about it. But uh, I'll also be doing a, a live. Now, this is up in Nashville. This is going to be. A month from now, if all goes well, they're going to do a test shots or some screen tests and all that sort of stuff. He explained to me what that's about, and I still don't know if I completely understand it, but I'm going to start doing all that. And if all that goes well, I'll be walking down the overall runway up at the uh, co-op up in up in uh, Nashville. Uh, there'll be a big old fashion show for the Hilltop Fall line overalls and you looking at the, the the top model there so and they said you you, you know you you spry for an old man i said well you know i i you know i ain't feeling over yet and he said no well, you're gonna need to have a lot of energy because you're gonna be walking down that runway uh, strutting in them overalls you're gonna turn around and go back you gotta rip them overalls off take them right off and put another pair right on turn around and walk right back there. i said well i think i can change clothes and walk but he said, you just wait and see. He said, I'm excited. And uh, he, he was excited. I could tell that. And he seemed to know what he's talking about. So I I, I can't believe it. I'm happy to pay myself $25 to, to let you all know about this new life choice, this new uh, job venture that I'll be taking. He said, I'd still have time to probably do it, talk on here with you. Uh, didn't know about that. In the long run, permanently, because, you know, he said when the offers start going in, you know, rolling in, we're going to have you every which way. We're going to need to be taking pictures of you day and night. You're going to be walking all run down runways all over this country. And they said the world. And I didn't know overalls are so popular overseas. I didn't know. Right now, I don't want to travel nowhere because of World War Three, But, you know, hopefully that'll be over eventually. And as soon as it is, I'm happy to be goodwill ambassador to the world for, for Hilltop overalls. That's right. Uh, Jackie Bros, folks model for Hilltop overall starting in the fall line. Be in a few months. I'm gonna do all the pictures and do all that, and then that'll come out uh, at the end of summer if all goes well. So I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I, I look forward to coming on here and sharing this adventure with with all of y'all. Uh, I hope you're happy for me because I'm excited and I'm happy, and I, I do something I never saw myself doing. Uh, I never, never, never thought of myself in that way, and, and, and it is flattering. I tell you, it's flattering. And if and if I can help uh, get young, old, uh, all people in a in a pair of hilltop uh, overalls, and I've done my job, and I'm happy to take that paycheck and cash it. So uh, here come, here come the uh, top model, uh, overall model, hilltop jacket rolls. Uh, look forward to that. Look forward to sharing it, uh, all the stories and. Uh, with each and every one of you. That's for sponsor. I reckon it's me. It's also uh, Hill, Hilltop uh, Overalls. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Jet Safers uh, for for being my personal uh, agent. Uh, to, and uh, I guess he, ain't a, he was a talent scout when he started talking to me about the end of the conversation. He's already my agent. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's official. What? Uh, huh. what? Hey, he started as your talent scout and then he wound up as your agent? Yeah. How much did you have to pay him? I didn't pay him nothing with a handshake. He said he said he'll get paid when the 
when the when the, all of it comes out, when when Hilltop gives it all the the, the big the big now this is him talking not me I ain't expecting uh-huh. it. He said, but when that model money come rolling in, he said we'll talk about the percentage. I got guess ten percent, something like that, ten fifteen percent. Uh, but he said that'll be coming. He said you ain't that's the last thing you need to worry about because that's gonna be rolling in like you wouldn't believe. He said I know this business. He said I know it in, inside and out. Uh, he said he worked in it all his life. Well, he he didn't look but thirty five to me. So I don't know how long he had been in it, but maybe. Nope. What'd you have to give him? Like I didn't give him dollars or two hundred dollars. I didn't give him nothing. They give me. Mm. They gave me his card. He said, "I hope you, you you know, just let me handle this." Well, I wouldn't get your hopes up, Jackie. I just uh, why. I don't want dashy dreams. I just oh, I know. my hopes ain't up. I ain't. I got a bunch of dreams. The same. Let's see how what happens. I'm good glad me. that you're at your age can still find something worth living for. In this well, world, even if it's uh, Jed Safer's running another one of his... Uh, Jackie, this man is just untrustworthy. Uh, He's my biggest rival. In, you don't uh, you don't know Jed Safer's. He don't. How do uh, you know him? Every day I wake up, and as I'm getting dressed, I'm saying, today is the day I'm going to metaphorically kick Jed Safer's ass. Hey. In the overall talent scout game, my son, I tell you what, and that's what happened to me. You'd be so proud of me, Jackie, at getting up and going to work every day as an overalls talent scout for Glade Tough Overalls. I knew that you were going to be proud of me, and I'm glad that you are proud of yourself. Uh, I like it when um, your vanity is exposed. Why? Um, when you, uh, you know, uh, brag about yourself and you think you, you little tushy looks cute in the mirror and your overalls, it's I nice. I think it's nice that. that I, you put words in my mouth. I ain't no, I never said the word tushy. I just think that we should make this uh, next segment more about me and uh, my future as an overalls talent scout for Glade Tough Overalls. And we what have the a hell are you Tough... talking about Glade Tough Overalls? What? They, what, you just, uh, what? Glade Tough Overalls, sure, they may not be as popular in Middle Tennessee as Hilltop Overalls, but everyone in North Alabama and Eastern Northern Georgia knows that Glade Tough Overalls are the overalls to wear when you need to put on overalls. I never That's their slogan. Of. Never heard of them. Don't never well, heard of them. Maybe you need to get out of, of your bubble. What bubble? I go co op. Your hey, hilltop bubble. bubble. Listen, okay, maybe Middle Tennessee doesn't know Glade Tough overalls the way it should, but that's going to change because I went down to Tractor Supply Company and I was like, okay, I need to find me. An old man who wears overalls all the time with a big beard, grizzled, just sweating wisdom out of his elderly pores. And I was like, where am I going to find that person? I, I don't know where to even look for somebody who's attractive, eh, like attractively relaxed, I guess I'd say. And old and grizzled and wisdom and smart, but like not repulsive. Why? I couldn't think. So I said, well, you know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go down to Tractor Supply Company and maybe I'm going to trust my overall talent scout instincts you ain't an overall time scout that's made up you making that up right i now. answered an ad what i answered an ad you just saying that because i seen it no i answered an ad in the back i was like granny's like you gotta get a job this week and i said what kind of job can i do that doesn't require work and I was looking in the back of what's that? Uh, the free paper that comes and where people sell like uh, busted ass cars. And it's like swap and shop, but printed. Why? Oh, did swap and shop uh, print version. Well, yeah. There was an ad in there that said uh, talent scout, easy money, overalls. 
I called them up. I said, Hey, I want, I want to be an overall talent scout. They said, well, we're having tryouts. So I had to go down and meet with the overall talent scout, talent scouts. And they said I was the best overall talent scout they'd seen in years and years. And one of them said that he had to met the, the guy who discovered me. Donnie, uh, Donnie Nana. Nana. Donnie Nana Jr. He was, he got discovered by a uh, overall talent scout, talent scout, talent scout. That's how good he is. Why? So he picked me out, Donnie Nana Jr. He picked me out of all these other fucking freeloaders. All right. You just make it this up. Hell. And he said, okay, here you go. We're going to try you out. You get up tomorrow. You get dressed for work. I'm going to give you a picture. He gave me a headshot. I said, who the fuck is this? He said, Gent Safers. I said, he out. looks like a real piece of ass. I mean, in a, like an asshole. Shut your mouth. Well, he's attractive. I mean, he does look like a piece of ass. I you mean, don't know he, the right? first thing about him. You don't know. I, you're just making this up because I said it. Now you got to say it just to be. It's a coincidence. Oh. Quincy. I know Jen Safer looks, you know, 35, but I, he said, that sounds like he's been doing it longer than that. So he moisturizes. Okay. He said, this is your competition. This is Jen Safer's. He's an overall talent scout and sometimes agent for Hilltop overall wear line. He's out there right now. He's finding the next big thing. You get up tomorrow, you put on your clothes, you go to work, you say, today's the day I kick, metaphorically, Jen Safer's ass. Just shut up. And I was saying, okay, I better get to sleep. Up all night, nervous. Dozed off finally, alarm goes off. But like, today's the day I kick Jen Safer's metaphorical ass, 35-year-old looking motherfucker. I go to Tractor Supply Company, and I'm looking for It. What? And I'll know it when I see it. And then here comes. You may know him, actually, Jackie. You know Brushy Shepherd. Well, yeah, I know Brushy Shepherd. But what did that got to do with anything? Uh, I guess it's got to do with making it in this business and being a number one top model for Glade Tough Overalls. Because I seen Brushy Shepherd come in, and I said, "You grizzled." Old looking, hillbilly, attractively relaxed, beautiful motherfucker. Hey, watch your mouth and, and just shove you. you. You're making this up. That's what he said. Well, he's right. And I said, Brushy, I'm going to make you a star in northern Alabama and eastern Georgia, moving into the middle Tennessee area. You ever heard of Glade Tough Overalls? He said he had some cousins from East Northern Georgia who wears them. Look, I've seen Brushy wear overalls for sure. Yes, I have. What? But not all the time. He half the time he just wear like a white shirt and blue jeans. Oh, I, say, oh, I see. Okay, no, so I you're wear just overalls. Out here no, rumors. I ain't saying I ain't saying he don't wear them good. He looks fine in them. I ain't saying that. But well. I wear overalls every day of the week. This is an attack on my client. He wears He's spreading white, rumors, malicious white, gossip. White button down shirt, blue jeans, belt buckle, sometimes a bolo tie. Sometimes when he, you know, going some place out to eat or something. But no, he don't wear overalls all the time. And I never see him go out to eat wearing overalls. He's always wearing a bolo tie in a white button down shirt. Me, I don't care what restaurant it is. If they say no sh shirt, no shirt, whatever the wood old jacket, I'll eat somewhere else. I'm eating there in my overalls. That's what you want to eat. Especially if you're going to get it all over you or something, you know what way it's going to show up in you. White button down shirt. He used to come out of uh, Los Palmas, come out of there, have salsa and everything, beans, everything in that white button down shirt. Me, I get any of that on my overalls. You just take a napkin, rub it right in there. Ain't nobody going to see it. I wear overalls no matter where I eat, where I go. He don't. He's a mess because he ain't. 
wearing them. I can't believe you're trying to cancel Brushy Shepard. I ain't trying to cancel nobody. I'm telling the damn truth. He welcome to wear whatever he wants. If you want to go in whatever restaurant, you go in Cap Days, come out with tartar sauce all over your white shirt. Well, tartar sauce might not show up because of white. Uh, cocktail sauce, or uh, 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 shrimp cocktail sauce, get all in that white button-down shirt. It makes you look silly for even trying to put on a bowl of tie to look nice. You're going to come out with every kind of stain on you you day. Whatever you can spill on yourself in Cap Days or whatever restaurant you at. You're going to get it all over that white button down shirt. Didn't even have a stained sleeves rolled up. Had him, had it, had him, uh, the sleeve buttoned down uh, around his wrist. Well, that's just more uh, shirt to get stuff on. You ask yeah. anybody, Brush, he said, did you see him the other night? He said, the cafe, wherever he was out eating. He said, yeah, he had it all over him. He went down to Cracker Barrel the other day. Did you see that? And I said, well, yeah, so I, I know he was there because we come out and he had... Half a menu on his white button down shirt. Donnie Nana told me that the overall industry was vicious. Just hate fueled gossip constant. How is but it I never fan? thought no. I I'm, never thought it'd be as bad. You ask anybody, the same brush here wearing his white button down shirt, wherever he's eating, he's gonna have like I said, he'll have half a menu all over his damn shirt, if not all of it. Well, I that's see my. A, that's a fact. That ain't good or bad. Hey, if you want to get food all over your shirt, it's a free country. Please do it. Go do it. Just go up down the aisles at Kroger, grab every kind of can of soup, open it right there, and just pour it all over your damn self. I don't give a damn. Hey, I ain't saying this right or wrong. I can see my job is going to be having to protect Brushy Shepherd from oh, these. Hell, he don't need protecting except his shirt. Well, he's going to be able to buy a lot of Tide Sticks with his modeling money from the Glade Tough Overalls Corporation. When he gets on them uh, billboards, and when we launch the Glade Tough Overall Wear line uh, fall collection Hell. at our big uh, show in Nashville. Well, yeah, fine. Have your big show. Make sure that he don't get near the all the hors d'oeuvres or whatever got laid out for all of uh, all the fancy food they got for the models. I'd keep them away from that because he that's what he's going to be modeling down the runway, whatever y'all eat. I, I've never seen this side of you before, Jack. What side it's, of me? It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's him not being able to eat the thing without getting it all over himself. I love Brushy. Good man. I like Brushy. I like his family. Uh, his wife, Denise. Nice lady. She'd be the first one to tell you how many times she had to wash these shirts over and over again. Usually a shirt should last you two or three times. Should you should be you should be able to hang your shirt back up when you get home, unless you work it somewhere, you know, doing hard work, which we know Brushy ain't ever done that day in his life. I guess it's hard work getting food all over your damn self. His poor wife had to wash every damn shirt, like, right after it. He got home, take that shirt off for you, get it all over the house. Brush your shepherd. Keep talking. Nobody likes, look, if if this wasn't a contest as far as I was concerned. It ain't no contest as far as I'm concerned, unless the contest is how much food you can get on you. Then he's a winner. Have at it. But now you've turned it into one as far as I'm concerned. A, Turn a it into bully, one. A bully. Bully and brushy, a, bully? a brushy bully. How mm. am I a bully? Because he can't eat right. We'll see, Jackie. We'll see who's on that billboard. I, I hope you do get on the billboard. I'm sure people will deface it with bully, brushy bully. Oh, hell. It ain't got nothing to do with being a bully or what this or that. Or I ain't. Hey, look, I'll pay to him. I hope he's successful. I hope there's people out there that want to see a man with food. All over itself on a billboard. Jackie, this is a it's a big world. There's plenty of room for two old white men to be uh, atop it. You don't have to fight each other for this. I ain't got to fight nothing. Of course, nowadays they got fancy computers, all that. They look at you, come in and take pictures of them. They got 
every kind of gravy stain on the man all over him. So I just take the computer and take that out and make you just your shirt just as wide as can be. So well, it ain't supposed to be a shirt. No, how you supposed to be a damn overall model. Put your overalls on. Take your white fifth ass shirt, excuse my language, and shove it in a damn washing machine where it got where it needs to go. And let's say how filthy you get them overall, big fancy overall model. Brushy shepherd hell. So that's uh, Glade Tough Overall. 